I'm a guy. Um, you're trying to be all gentle with it and go on with it cute. So yeah, I'm just spreading like that. What is up flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. Today I'm going to be showing you my nighttime micro lock routine. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around. wondering why I'm talking quieter than usual it's because it is nighttime and I'm not trying to be extra loud and wake folks up so let's go ahead and get started All right so the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and use my face wash this is Freeman feeling beautiful polishing charcoal and black sugar gel mask and scrub all the links for everything I use will be in the description box down below if you're interested in checking those out but pretty much everything I get is off of Amazon so this is the first product and what I love about this is just the simple fact that it exfoliates and I feel like it's actually doing something actual granules of sugar in there so when you rub it in you can actually feel it you probably hear it too exfoliating or just scraping the life off your face however you want to look at it but I like the way it feels it's not too rough and I mean it's it's kind of nasty but I do like the fact that it's sugar <laughs> and so if you do accidentally get a little bit of this in your mouth it doesn't taste horrible it doesn't taste overly chemical but yeah it doesn't taste horrible all right so I let that sit for a couple of minutes before rinsing it off, I'm going to go in lightly, lightly spray my hair. And here, oh, yes, y'all know this is the OG continuous spray bottle. I swear by that. And then I also have this Rose Aroma Therapy um, by Esha, and it's organic essential oil blend for hair, skin, and aromatherapy. I don't know if you can see, but we're at the bottom, so this has been getting plenty of use, but this is Rose Essential Oil and Organic Argon Oil. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps of this. Right. Not a ton, literally just a couple of pumps. Rub it into my scalp and through the length of my locks. Make sure I'm getting the ends, especially since my ends are color treated. And then this is the part that I like the most. This is the treat. I go in with the Confier. scalp massager now I love this because it's easily recharged it comes with this like mini USB slot that you can charge it it's this charging station and it has these silicone tips on it so that it does not pull your hair out of your scalp it doesn't hurt and like I said it recharges and it's got two speeds so if you want just a chill one and then it goes in reverse. But I just go in and just for a couple of minutes, just massage my scalp. And you can see it moving. And again, it does not pull my hair. It doesn't snag on anything. So I'm able to just put it in different places of my scalp. 
And one, this feels good and it's relaxing. And two, I do this because those of you that have been with me for a while know that I do have a spot where my hair is thinner uh, in the crown area of my hair. And so I'm on a journey of trying to restore that hair in that area, bring some of it back. Um, and it seems like I have brought some of it back and that it is starting to grow back in. So I'm very happy about that. And I think that is in part due to scalp massages. So literally would just do that. And usually this part I'll do when I'm laying in bed or sitting in bed watching a show before bed. But um, I'm not gonna take y'all into my bedroom tonight. So I'm doing this part here so you can see. But yeah, I'll usually do that for about five minutes. 10 if I'm feeling extra, extra good. So yeah, that head massager works wonders. It just leaves your scalp feeling so nice. All right, so let's go ahead and rinse this face off. And I could stop there, but I'm not going to. Um, after that, I like to follow up with my Vanity Planet. Also got this from Amazon. It comes with this brush, which is battery powered. And it comes with, I believe this is the soft, depending on what type of skin you have sensitive or whatever, what, what your needs are, it comes with the soft brush. It also comes with the brush that's coarser, harder, for I guess more of a deep tissue. And then there's also yeah, a silicon soft brush that has these like type of bristles. So it really is dependent on you and what you want and what works best for you. I put a little water on the brush and then I go in with Cetaphil. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, face and body. This is for all skin types. And with that, I put on a generous amount onto the brush. And then I go in. And this also has two speeds. It has a lower speed and then a faster speed. This part can be a little messy. So I usually try to do this right over the sink. And part of the problem is because I put too much on, but I just don't like to have to go back and put more on it. So I'll go all over my face with that. And why I like to use this one after I use the, the one that's exfoliating is simply because this one I mean, it says it softens as it cleans, but I really feel like it does because my skin feels super moisturized after I follow it up with this. It feels like I put lotion on um, after I use this. So that's why I really like to go in with the Cetaphil after using the face scrub. Rinse your brush out really good. It's important to rinse some brushes out. All right, I'm done with that. Just pop it back in there. And I'm gonna rinse my face again. I like to go in with the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer, Oil-Free Moisturize this one looks like and I just like this one because I mean it says here ultra lightweight won't clog pores provides a touch of moisture so I really do like it because it is very light 
as you can see in the consistency. And it just goes in and adds that extra, extra moisture. And I'm a guy, um, you're trying to be all gentle with it and go on with it cute. So yeah, I'm just spreading like that. All right. And my face is nice and clean. Done with my locks. And then I take my bonnet. That is the Evolve bonnet. This one has the wide band on it, which I like the wide band so that way when I wake up in the morning I don't have a, a line on my forehead. So I prefer the wide band ones. And I just tuck the locks up in there, just like that. And I like my ears to be out. So I tuck it behind my ears. There we go. Now we have a fresh face hairs up for the night. I also have a satin pillowcase on my pillow. And that's it. That is my night routine. And then of course, we gotta brush them choppers because nobody likes funky breath going to bed. I don't know if anybody cares, but I do use the Philips Sonic Care toothbrush. So, yeah, before I was using just the regular toothbrush, and <laughs> my dentist was like, So, we upgrade our phones every year, every other year. We upgrade our hair, bodies, whatever, but we don't want to upgrade our toothbrushes. And I was like, Heard, understood. Get that electric toothbrush, all right, because it does a lot more for the gums and the plaque. Gotcha. And that is my nighttime routine. If you found this video helpful or useful at all, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to join the flock. And while you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that have popped up on the screen. I'll see you there.